Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another video with me, Coach Sierra, the Research and Assessment Specialist for Academic Coaching for World Changers. And today we're going to go over some general terms that I think that are important to note for your exams in the assessment section. Today we're going to talk about the different definitions that you might be quizzed on. Measurement, assessment, appraisal, and interpretation. So what are these terms? A measurement is a general process of determining the dimensions of an attribute or a trait. I think something that's difficult with the terminology in the assessment section in particular is you're really thinking about what words mean. And there are some words that we use in layman's terms that don't cross over into our research and assessment terms. For example, correlations. Like, oh yeah, these two things are correlated. Oh yeah, I totally think there's a correlation between what's happening here and what's happening there. But correlations does have a term. It means relationships or relationships between variables. So we've measured things before. We've heard of the term measurement, but the true definition that you might see on your exam is it's a general process of determining the dimensions of an attribute or a trait. So where do the dimensions lie? If we're measuring a box, right? The dimensions of a box. If we're measuring anxiety, the dimensions of that person's anxiety. So a measurement, a general process of determining the dimensions of an attribute or a trait. Assessment is another process and procedure specifically for collecting information, in our case, about human behavior, right? Not animal behavior. We're not collecting information about parks or agriculture or uh, parts of construction. We're specifically looking at human behavior. So our assessment looks in the likes of tests, inventories, assessments, rating scales, observations, interview data, and other techniques similar to that, where we can collect said human behavior, personality tests, projective tests, things of that nature. Appraisal is going beyond the measurement, going beyond the assessment, and then actually making judgments about what you've collected and what you've measured specifically about the human attributes and behaviors. It's sometimes used interchangeably with evaluation. So once we've collected the information, we're now trying to make do with what information we have. Typically you'll see who can do an appraisal is someone who is qualified, certified, licensed, um, credentialed, someone who really knows what they're talking about when it comes to human behavior. And interpretation. I think of interpretation as my conclusion statement. An interpretation is making a statement about the meaning or the usefulness of measurement data according to the professionals, the professional counselors, excuse me, knowledge and judgment. So you move through and you might measure something. I'm just, I want to measure the dimensions of uh, the depression of this client. So you do a quick measurement and then you decide you want to move to a formal assessment. From there, you evaluate the results and you could come up with a conclusion or a final interpretation. And those are the terms measurement, assessment, appraisal, and interpretation. Thanks so much for joining. This was a pretty short video. We have others on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about booking an individual session with me or about our services overall, of course, you can always email us at drpam2020 at gmail.com. I'm Coach Sierra, the Research and Assessment Specialist. Thanks for joining and have a lovely day, everyone.